This is some Juno Steel ass music. How's everyone doing? <clears throat> That's not what I remember that song being, The Walk of the Free Soul. I thought it was more chill than that. Well, not more chill. Uh, more, uh, more, less chill, I guess. <laughs> like, uh, had like a beat to it, kind of deal. <laughs> or a rhythm, I guess. Not a beat, because there's no drums. Anyway. How are you guys doing? <laughs> so today I received a package in the mail. Um, this was a package that I have awaited for probably a couple weeks now, like two weeks. Um, It was delayed slightly, I think, but it's okay because it's the original date I was supposed to be out of town. Um, but it arrived today, and boy, did it make my whole day. Um, I'll, I, I spent $160 on an official uh, Rockfire Explosion Duke Louie plushie. Now, if you don't know who Duke Luru is, let me, I can bring it up on here, actually. I'm just gonna send an image, but, uh, we can just, we can just go here and, uh, search up Duke Luru. This is him. He's the dog. He's the drummer. He's cool. I like him. He's, he's one of my favorites. I have a pen of him, and I, I like him a lot. I think he's, I think he's, he's swaggy, you know? Um, I think especially, I don't know if I could, if I could show him, but, oh yeah, here's the plush that I ordered. <laughs> um, they also have this doll 
but like the face is hard and like the torso is hard and I was like I don't want that I don't want something hard I want something I can like cuddle up to you know so I many many sauces long yeah so I I, I bought him uh, and he's really big <laughs> he's really big he's 16 inches which they told me when I ordered him but he's so big he's so big and he's so ugly <laughs> he's so ugly like more ugly than in the pictures I feel like like I feel like this is like yeah he's he's pretty silly looking but like wait a second this mine is defective because I was gonna say, one of the things I mentioned here he doesn't have the dots on his collar it just looks like he's right oh my god I thought this was like a turtleneck I thought this was attached to his body it's not it's literally just a, like a loop around his around his neck but it doesn't have the yellow dots mine's mine is busted <laughs> This is so messed up. <coughs> Hold on, let me pull a chat on my phone. What about this? Yeah. So, <coughs> he's supposed to have the dots, he doesn't. Hold on, let me compare this to mine some more. This is otherwise pretty accurate. I think that's the only thing he's like missing, missing. Um, but like, you'll notice, I mean that's not very good example far away there. But you'll notice Duke is not the skinniest of fellas. He's not, he's not super fat, but like you know, he's, he's a little round. And that's okay. I like that about him. And you'll notice in this plush, he looks like really round. You know? So I was like, okay. And he is, he's wide, but he's really flat. <coughs> so there's just a lot going on with it. Like you'll see like his drumstick is really droopy because like the part where it like immediately comes out of his hand is like the least filled with stuffing, but you can actually move the, the sticks around, so I, <coughs> I actually did readjust it so that it looked a little better. Um, but the other thing is that, um, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, the other thing is that his, his tag is signed by Aaron Fector, who is um, not only the guy who sold me this plushie, but also the creator of the Rock of Fire Explosion. So I was like, okay, that's pretty neat. I have my own personal gripes with Iron Factor, and that's the thing that I could get into for a full hour. I won't. But I respect him for making the characters that I enjoy. So, you know, the, at the barest of minimums, that's that I give him that at least. Um, so I was like, oh, that's kind of neat that he signed it, you know? But then I, I noticed uh, the tag is for the wrong character. And he just, he had to write <laughs> which was who the correct character was. So there really is a lot going on <laughs> with, with this specific Duke. Um, but then I, then I started thinking, is there a Ralph and Earl plush? And there is. And this is what they look like. And, <laughs> and this makes me really happy. Earl looks like he's seen some things, but Rolf is, is pretty adorable. Um, but these these were expensive when they came out, and they're a little more expensive uh, now that they're not being officially sold anymore. Um, which, I feel like, if Aaron Factor is still the one selling them just on eBay instead of on his website, I feel like it shouldn't be more expensive. But whatever, I guess. <laughs> uh. So that's uh, that's where I'm at. I have I have Duke in my lap. My entire family hates him. They all think he's so ugly, and I agree. Um, but I love him too much. <laughs> I'm, I'm too happy he exists. Oh my god. Let me adjust his drumsticks. They're not even really drumsticks, cause like you would like drumsticks are shaped a certain way. He just has tubes in his hands. They didn't even give him a tail. Does he just canonically not have a tail? That's really sad if he doesn't. They're, they looked like spaghettis when, when I got him. He, like... 
I'm gonna be honest, I opened the box, and I, like, he was kind of, like, face down in the box, and he was wrapped in, like, a cling wrap, like, a green translucent cling wrap, and I had, like, a visceral reaction. I, like, didn't want to keep opening the box for a second. <laughs> I did, though. I powered through. He's very soft, which is, I think, his uh, biggest uh, saving grace. He's extremely soft and pretty huggable. I feel like he could be a little more filled with uh, stuffing. Um, but I like my plushies really firm. Um, that's so that's just on me. I just I want him to be a little more round, you know, because he's so he's so wide. <laughs> I want I want the, the width to match the length, or vice versa. That's just how I feel. Um, and I, I have considered briefly uh, taking him apart, filling him in more stuffing, and then putting him back together. Um, but I feel like I overestimate my ability to do that. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, what happened was, I, I feel like I maybe told you s the story already, but whatever, I'll tell again. I had a pair of uh, fursuit paws that I got off, I don't remember where I got them, it was years ago, but it was for very cheap. Um, they were for like five bucks or ten bucks. Um, I think ten dollars, like five dollars a paw, technically. Um, like absurdly cheap, and I only bought them because I was like, no way they're this cheap, you know, but they actually were. Um, and they, they came to my home, and they were nice, they were white, you know, pretty standard white, and they had black claws, um, and I actually don't use them anymore, because I, I, for two reasons, one, I bought nicer ones, uh, not, not necessarily, like, better quality, but, like, ones that I like better, like, the paw pads on these were black, and the ones I bought were pink, and, you know, the new ones don't have claws or whatever, the little things like that that I prefer, um, but also over time, the ones that I owned, uh, started like falling apart a little bit like one of them got one of the thing came with like a hole near the wrist um and it wasn't very big and you couldn't see it like with because it was all white um but then over time one of them got like a hole in the lining hi carpet <laughs> um so i said okay i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna one day i was like i'm going to fix these things so i i said i'm going to fix the one in the lining first so what i did was like you know i cut open the 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 paw like along the seam up until where the the hole was i sewed it up and then i said i'm gonna sew back you know the thing that i closed but like it was one of those things where like because that's where the seam was you kind of had to like i what i did was i i sewed the lining back to the fur and then sewed the two sewn parts together do you know what i mean like on each on each half of it and then I sewed the two halves together which in retrospect I shouldn't have done I should have sewn all of the lining together and then all of the fur together um but I didn't do that and then in the result the paw was a lot smaller and it didn't fit on me anymore um so I couldn't I didn't know what to do so I tried to undo it and just left it with like this huge slit down the side of the <laughs> the paw um and it is technically like st it's it's still wearable. Like the stuffing isn't coming out, but it's just it's got like a flap now, and I didn't I didn't yeah I didn't like that. Um, so I don't I don't wear those anymore. <laughs> I don't know why I still have them, but um, because of that one experience, I don't trust myself with like fixing things anymore. <laughs> I used to fix like little holes in clothes for my family. Because I guess I was the only one who enjoyed sewing or knew how to sew. I think my mom like kind of knows how to sew, um, but I, I probably have the most experience out of my family because I had like a year where that was the thing that I was doing. Um, my parents literally bought me a sewing machine for my birthday because I was I was complaining. I was like, I'd sew so much more if I had a sewing machine because I like sewing, but it's it's very time consuming. And I still believe this. I it's really time consuming. Um, even though I enjoy the idea of sewing, like, conceptually, it's just, it makes, it so slow. Um, so it was like, if I, if I could do it faster, I would make more plushies all the time. Um, and then I got a sewing machine, spent, like, a full day, they, they gave me a whole manual on how to thread the sewing machine, but then didn't tell me how to, like, how to, like, finish a knot, you know what I mean? Like, finish a, 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 a stitch, I guess? 
So like I, I was like, okay, I think I figured out how to like sew this, this line straight down or whatever. And then I was like, now what? Like how do I end it? <laughs> um, and like I just needed a lot of practice with like sewing straight lines and like how to how to how to change. Like they didn't show me how to change like the space between the stitches, like stuff like that. Like it, it literally only showed me how to thread the machine. And I was like, well, I'm glad I know how to do that because I would know less if I didn't know how to do that. But like, I'd rather know how to use the rest of the machine too. Um, and then like, I think they had like a slip that was like, oh, use this for, for like, a, it's like a voucher for like free classes on how to like bring it to your local Michaels or whatever and they'll show you how to use the sewing machine. And I was like, okay, cool, I'll do that at some point. And then I just didn't <laughs> because like, I had other stuff going on and it wasn't my highest priority. Um, and it's just kind of been like that for the last six months and I feel bad um, because I do, I, like it's, well, it's just on my desk. Like, I, it's taking up like a third of my desk. Between that and my fursuit head, there's like, it's taking up so much of my desk. Like, I feel like I have a crafting desk and I can't use it for crafting. Because I got so much shit that doesn't really, like, barely relates to crafting on it. I got my sewing machine, I got my first head, I got a box full of markers, uh, and then I have, like, my, um, all, all four of my fursuit paws. Um, and, like, I have, like, a little box of, like, earrings on there. My Steam Deck's on there. My Switch char uh, my Switch case is on there. My iPad's on there. Uh, my, I have like a Nintendo store bag with my Cali and Marie Amiibos, which I never opened on there because I'm planning to resell them when they go out of like production again and they start being worth things again. Um, like it's one of those things where it's like, oh, I've already got shit on my desk, so I might as well just like throw more shit on my desk. Um, so now it's just like, it's, there's too much shit on my desk. Um, no, I mean it when they're like a hundred dollars each kind of sell. <coughs> that's the only reason I bought them <laughs> cause I was like I really wanted I really wanted a Perla Marina amiibo uh I also want the Octoling amiibos just in general I never got those but they're all so expensive cause they weren't in production for a very long time um up until like very recently because of the new game so but I managed to find or my, my friend found me uh, Pearl, or not Pearl, uh, Marina from Japan, and it works on your, your American Switch, um, for like $20, $30, they like imported it, and it was really cool, and that was, that was their birthday gift to me that year, uh, but I still don't have Pearl, and you go on, you go on, well, you go on eBay and you're looking for them, and they're like $80 each or whatever, but then you look at the Squid Sisters and they're like $110 each, and you're like, holy shit! <laughs> So, I'm, I'm just, it's what, like, okay, my mom used to do this a lot when I was a kid. She would be like, she, she would, she, do you remember Cabbage Patch Kids? She had, like, a small collection of those, like, in box, because she swore that one day they would be worth a lot of money, and I don't think that they ever were. Um, one time we were, Beanie Babies too, basically, um, uh, one time we were at Toys R Us, the one in Times Square that doesn't exist anymore, we were there, um, because in my friend's birthday was coming up and we wanted to get her a Monster High doll as a gift, so we were like, okay, let's go look at the doll section, and then I was like, coincidentally, I found a doll that was in, like, the wrong box, like, it was, it's had, like, the wrong character's name on the box, and I was like, oh, that's weird, and my mom was like, oh my god, we need to buy this, because it's gonna be worth so much money in the future, and I was like, is it? Okay, so we bought it, and it's just been in our house, <coughs> and the, th <coughs> the thing is, is that I watched, I watched Izzy's video about Monster High, when that was a thing that was, that had recently come out, um, and I, I, I remember like seeing something about like, like some, some variant of, of one of the dolls, like one, one of the outfit dolls that they had was like worth a ton of money. Like there was some controversy about it or whatever. And I was like, wait a second. I think I had that doll as a kid. <laughs> so I was like, mom, 
When I come home, can we go through, like, the closet and find my old Monster High dolls? I feel like the really old ones, because I had, like the, the, like, the very first Monster High dolls that came out, you know what I mean? Like, the original Dracula kind of deal, like Claudine. Claudine was the first Monster High doll I ever had. Uh, I got it as a gift. And I, I, I remember being, like, a little insulted at the time because I think I wanted Frankie and they just gave me Claudine and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> But I, I, I came to love her, um, and I did eventually get Frankie. I had a whole collection of them, obviously. I was really into Monster High when I was, like, ten. Um, but I was like, I don't think I ever threw any of those out because my mom's, like, a sentimental person, so we just put it all in the closet. And I was like, can we go through them when I get home? And she was like, okay, and it's been, like, several months, and we just haven't gone through that closet. <laughs> so I doubt it'll ever happen, but uh, the sentiment has come up a couple more times because of the new ones that came out. <coughs> Basically, what I mean to say is, in in buying the Cali and Marie Amiibos, I was like, "Oh, that'll be worth something." I was I was doing my mom. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I've been there. I was talking about rare cards with my partner, and he was like, "Oh shit, I have that on YouTube, and it's worth about a hundred bucks or so." Oh, man, my okay. <laughs> <coughs> Slightly morbid story coming up. My uncle died recently, right? So we went to his house. To just like go through all his shit um, to see what we could like sell, like what was worth money, um, because he didn't have a will, he wasn't old enough for that. Um, uh, so we were like, well, we need to like pay to like sell this house and and like pay for the burial and stuff. So let's see what we can like pawn off so that we can like help with the costs. So we were looking through all this stuff, and this man had a coin collection like you wouldn't believe, like, like like hours in that house and you would think that at some point you would stop finding coins but there were always more coins and it was a little bit distressing how many coins he had at one point me and my other uncle uh, you know his, my uncle's brother my dad's other brother um, we, we were all in the basement together him and me and my brother we were in the basement and there's like a little door you know in the wall like one of those like under the stair doors um, and he opens it, and, like, way in the back, there's, like, this chest, like, a red chest, and he's like, oh my gosh, this might be, like, old scrapbooks or whatever, we should look through these, so we, oh, we haul it up to, upstairs, like, in the, in the living room, set it down, open it up, and I swear to God, it's all coins. <laughs> it was all coins and baseball cards, that's all the man had to his name. So, <laughs> so we were in, at one point, I think my uncle was like, oh, dude, I found this whole, like, crate full of, like, baseball cards that, like, all three of us used to collect as kids. I'm sure some of these are valuable now. And, but he was, he was getting, like, progressively more pissed off because all of them, all of them, like, it didn't matter if any of them were valuable or not because all of them had had like the, the individual people's names written on them because they were like five at the time <laughs> so they were worth absolutely nothing because of that. <laughs> he was like i can't believe this oh my god <laughs> anyway um by the way that was like a couple months ago and there are still coins and baseball cards in our house that we just couldn't get rid of so just thought you should know that all right let's get a, let's get pokemon going moral of the story is never collect anything so i think it'd be good Yeah, could you imagine if your partner was like, oh shit, I have that new too. That must be like a hundred bucks worth of, of, you know, like a card. It's an amazing card. Let's go look for it. And then you, you go, <coughs> you go dig it up and it just has his name written on it. <laughs> and it's just it's not worth anything now. <laughs> Anyway, 
Last we left off, we were literally right here outside this outside this gym. Oh, screen tear. I arrived at my destination after 72 hours. Let me, uh... There we go. Alright. We're starting with a gym battle. This ought to be good. Oh, hey, Victoria! Hey! Uh, um, uh, 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 no, don't tell me, don't tell me, I know. Uh, um, uh, uh, ooh, ooh, um, Alyssa, right? And she's like, no. <laughs> You're like, ah, oh, no, I was, I, I mean, uh, yeah, um, uh, 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 I, I should go. <laughs> Anyway, I came to see this gym, huh? That can only mean one thing. You have to earn some gym badges and take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? Eh. Yes, I knew it. I'm so glad I asked you to do it. Before you can battle the gym leader, you've got to pass a certain challenge set by them. The gym test. Every gym's test is different. If you ask the lobby staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. Here, have these. When you use them, consider... Consider me healing... Consider it me healing up your Pokemon. Okay. Yeah, you're a uh, nim uh, pneumonia. <laughs> She's like, no, <laughs> no, not not pneumonia. <laughs> you guys have read that book, right, Nimona? With an I and not an E. Her name is Victoria, right? Weird name. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> My mom didn't like me. <laughs> In order to face the gym leader, Katie, you'll need to pass the gym test. We're at the Cortondo Gym, that means taking on the olive oil. Olive production is a big part of life in Cortondo. We call the Olive, Har Har olive, Har olive Garden Festival here each year for generations to usher in bumper crops. To pass our gym test, you need to roll an olive-shaped ball all the way to the goal. So wait, did I just happen to show up at the right place at the right time? Would you have not had something for me if I'd showed up any other time of the year? All right, my efforts should help. Okay, a oh, great olive harvest next to you too. Okay, cool. Just call me Rick or Tori or anything but Rick Tori. <laughs> the staff are over the rec re re Rick Rolling Field. We'll explain the rules to you in further detail. I will just do location. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Register the destination on the map. It's just north of town, right? So I'll just go just north of town. Oh yeah, okay, there it is. I don't know why I didn't show up right away. That was weird. Oh. Welcome to the olive rolling field. This gym test is all about stamina. You'll need to push it with all you've got to get a large olive ball rolling and make it all the way to the end. Okay. Uh-huh. Alright. I suppose so. Baller! Ugh! <sighs> Okay. The World Cup is happening, so current events. Oh yeah, this is just like real soccer. I guess it's shaped like a football. <laughs> you got that. This is extremely silly. They had to have known this. Go. Okay, that way works too. No, not that way though. <laughs> Oh, I can- oh, I can get on this guy! Oh, that's amazing! <laughs> really fucked it up. <laughs> I don't think the- 
like, this is not what olives should be shaped like. This isn't even what grapes should be shaped like. I feel like this is harder when I'm on me right now. <laughs> this is extremely silly. No, wait, no, 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 no. sound effects extremely goofy. Is this for real? <laughs> I can ride me right down here. Okay. Don't. 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 No, please. Be normal. Are you, are you, okay, I was gonna say, are you kidding me? There are fluids in the giant, there's, there's something in the giant olive. This is, this is insidious. You know, you know, insidious? It's, it's like that, but when something's extremely, when something's silly to your detriment, it's insidious. Please. <laughs> I'm so close to like <laughs> Damn, that Ricky kid's really, uh, I don't think they've actually played any sport ever. <laughs> That's why it's a challenge. <laughs> I passed. <laughs> My goodness. Yay, Jesse. <laughs> That performance, I'm sure we can look forward to a great olive harvest next year. I'm happy to declare your gym test officially clear. Congratulations. Please report your results to the lobby staffer at the gym. Good luck in your battle against Katie, of course. I just thought of something. Uh, let me look at what stream point things I have. How do I message random sub and emote? Choose an emote to unlock. Modify an emote. Blorb, head pat. No cursing. Okay. I have an idea because the blorb and the head pat don't work because of the application I used for those that stopped working. Um, I have an idea. Can I put GIFs into VC face props? Let's add a uh, desktop. Yeah, I know Jesse. Put a GIF? I can. <laughs> now I can be head pat. That's amazing. Modern technology is amazing. Wow. And it, it follows me, it tracks me. Modern technology truly is amazing. 
The only thing about this is that, um, it's indefinite. It's only until I take it off. You know what I mean? The other one just kind of, uh, would go, it would fade out on its own. How do I, uh, delete doesn't do anything. Let's just put it over here, I guess. Jesse wants to be let out. Let me do that for her. Um, but yeah, I can't. I can't guarantee anything for head pad, but uh, I'll leave the blurbs on indefinitely. They'll stack if you if you if you redeem a bunch of blurbs, they'll just add a bunch for however many you redeem. How's that sound? Ridiculously decorated, perforated, somehow understated, insulated, acceptable colanders bought somewhere off the coast of Phoenix, Arizona. How's that? <laughs> I feel like I forgot one. Twelve. Twelve. Hold on, I'm already forgetting it. Uh, what does he say? Twelve ridiculously decorated, perforated. Insulated, somehow understated, acceptable color. I feel like I'm forgetting one. I'm gonna have to look that up. <laughs> but I don't, I don't want to look up Rock Fire stuff on stream. It'll make me feel cringe. So ridiculous to get there. I'm trying to memorize that. I'm trying to memorize that song. Be cringe and be free. Be cringe, be free. All right, well, let me go somewhere without music. So I can look it up. Based Bulcher. Stop, no music. Stop, no music. Dude, no music. Okay, let's look this up. Uh, 12 days. I track of fire. <coughs> <coughs> this also has music. <coughs> <coughs> Alright. Hold on, I gotta pull it up. I'm not going to show the whole thing, because who cares. <coughs> Where did it go? It broke. It brought me back to my playlist. Hold on. We will find out. I have to know. It's all ridiculously decorated. Somehow understated. Somehow understated. Well, ridiculously decorated, okay. perforated, somehow understated, okay. insulated, acceptable, acceptable colanders, but somewhere, somewhere off the, off coast. the coast of Phoenix, Phoenix Arizona. Arizona. How's that? It, it, I did have it right. I feel like he said something else. Twelve ridiculously decorated, perforated, somehow understated, insulated, acceptable colander spots somewhere off the coast of Phoenix, Arizona. How's that? <laughs> Well, now I know it. Now, I, now the next thing I have to memorize from that song is um, everything that he says for day three. Because I know everything else. I know the 12, obviously. And then it's 11 kids a-hugging. 10, 10 more steady boyfriends. 9 beanie weenies. 8. 8. 8 x-ray specs. 7 disco records. 6 little puppies. 5 golden nanas. Four steady boyfriends, and then it's three is different every time, and then two purple gloves, and a loony bird in a pear tree. But I have, to, I have yet to uh, learn all the threes. This is my final boss of, of being cringe. Yeah, I'm ready to challenge Jimmy Leader K to the trigger bug. I forgot. <laughs> that, that's the part I learned afterwards is when everyone fucks up their parts. I know, um, three blacklight posters, because that comes right after uh, Earl's comments about having x-ray specs.
Nagyon szép hát Oh, yeah, no problem about the olive rolling. No problem. <coughs> no problem, man. <coughs> She's got the same vibe as Melanie. Yeah, a little bit. My name is Katie, and I'm the owner here at Patisserie Soapberry. Oh, that's right. I'm out of my shop. I'm on duty as leader of the Cortondo gym right now. Forgive me. My name is Katie, and I'm the gym leader here in Cortondo. She, you know, I feel like you don't need two jobs to be the gym leader, but whatever. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. Little sweets that bring happiness with just one bite. Bug-type Pokemon hiding in foliage. Both are, yet, are small and yet very powerful. Don't let your guard down unless you would like to find yourself knocked off your feet. Okay. You've got weird hair. I feel like you should have two pigtail things, but you only have one. Like, just make it down the middle then, you know? Alright, you know, you know, I don't want, I don't want that. Hi, Jesse. Tyler. What is it? Yeah? Uh-huh. <laughs> what is it? Uh, not that. You guys said Flicker would be good for this, right? Sweet. She's so small. <laughs> I see. All right, Flicker, it's your time to shine. All right, don't die first. Okay. Hey guys, did you know it's September? Oh, this is not going very well, guys. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> What the fuck are you guys talking about? That's so sweet. You guys messing with me? Flicker, you were supposed to carry! <laughs> Tyler's sabotage. Tyler starts one-shotting Pokemon left and right. <laughs> gonna do. I know you said you flicker, but like I kinda wanna know what Tyler would do. Evolved. That's true. When does Flicker evolve? Quentin's Revenge. Yeah, not for long. He evolves via an item. Alright. How do we how do we get one of those? Oh no, wait, wait, wait. okay. How should I roll things out from here? I don't know. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I 
I have Violet, yeah. Perfect, that works for the time for the time of working on. I mean, what? <laughs> oh, wow, I'm so scared. Wow. The dialogue just, I'm gonna say this. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta turn my baby evil? What are you talking about? Your strength rose during your battle like a nice bird in the oven. I feel that I may need to work on my own strength as well. Congratulations, you passed. As proof of your victory against me, the gym leader allowed me to present you with this gym badge. I hope you'll enjoy it alongside a heaping serving of some of my deluxe handmade treats. <laughs> we kind of match. She kind of looks like she could be my mom. <laughs> With one gym badge in your possession, Pokemon up to level 25 will be easier to catch and will listen to your commands as well. <coughs> A little TM frosting on the cake. Alright. Counts. I get malicious armor in the town of Zapapico after doing a quest for a lady. Okay. Wait, do I need malicious armor to to uh, uh, evolve Flicker? I've never even heard of Zapapico. Where the hell is that? And can we do that next? Because I want to evolve Flicker. Hey, hey, Victoria! Just have to tell you, my Pokemon are learning some pretty cool moves. Be ready! I had to go to the gym, by the way. A past! Yes! Haha! I mean, it was obvious you were gonna pass, but congrats! I'm so glad I encouraged you to take on the gym. It was a nice job, past me. I'm training hard, too, by the way. Day and night. Going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness we've got the map app. It helps. Alright, I don't know what the map is! <laughs> After all, the path to getting stronger usually has some strange stops and detours. Speaking of going strange places, I wonder what Arvin's up to. Anyway, catch you later. I hope you know I'm gonna want a battle if we run into each other. Okay. It's a little far and a little out of your level range. Alright. Bye. Where to next? If I follow this road, don't do her. She's like Jim Seven. Why is she so close to by then? Okay. I'm built different. So where should I go next then? Chat. this a 
open Sky Titan. Want to do that? I'm gonna do this <laughs> or that. Okay, we'll we'll do we'll do the the other two afterwards. I feel like doing a, a, a Titan. some mine stuff too. Um, um, uh, ooh, great balls, I can use a lot of those. You know, like 10. Yeah, Big Sky Titan is level 20. Should I be worried about that? You can do whatever you want if you believe hard enough, so I don't know. I did do the Open Sky Titan as the second thing in, like, ever in my personal run. I did this gym, and then I did the Open Sky Titan. And I feel like I was maybe lower level, I don't remember. <laughs> What level are my Pokemon? 18, 16, 15, 16, 15, 13. I think I'm going to handle a 20 Pokemon, right? What are you? Oh. You're ugly. <laughs> That's creature. <laughs> well, he's getting in the ball. What are we naming him? I can name him creature. He's so ugly. Oh, it's a girl. Still creature. Klungo. Okay. Low sleep, okay. I need type. No. <laughs> when does Tyler evolve again? Isn't it like soonish? Or am I misremembering? 36, okay. I thought it was 26. I'm scared. <laughs>
end your life. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. I was joking. I didn't. I'm sorry. Oh god, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. Oh man, I'm really embarrassed. <laughs> Yeah, when will it wisp What is what is will it wisp Yeah, you can do that if you want, I guess. We'll we'll, we'll get another rock after. It's fine. We'll, we'll we'll get all these guys. Look, we'll get we'll get uh, we'll get we'll get this thing. <laughs> Also in this animal, yeah. Um, getting the bigger rock. Thank you. What are we naming him? Wait, I've got an idea. I've got one. <laughs> Ball. <laughs> to get the armor, right? But how did how did that get the armor? Trade in the sinister parts. I'm sure I'll understand when we get there. <laughs> uh, what, what are we naming her? I have no, no ideas. So you need to get Sinisty Chips 10, I think, and then give them to a lady to get an item out of all Flicker. I see, okay. And then obviously give the item to Flicker and then, yeah. May have just sent me a whole text. Okay, let's look at this. So apparently, they're making a new Transformers movie, which I didn't realize they were still doing, but apparently in this one, instead of turning into cars, they turn into, like, robot animals, which doesn't that defeat the purpose of Transformers? Isn't the whole bit with them turning into cars is that they can be around people without raising suspicion? I don't expect you to be able to answer that. I'm just confused. The, the answer is, I... I don't know, but I, I'm pretty sure this isn't the first time that Transformers has done that either. Like, it's not like, it's not like a new weird thing that the movies are doing. I'm pretty sure that's like a thing that they've done for a while. Um. Yeah. Yeah, no, they've turned into animals since like the 90s. Yeah. I posted a really good be real thing <laughs> while I was on the toilet. And I just took a picture of like the the top part of my legs and then like the to like from my nose up and then I just captioned it shitting. <laughs> and everyone's losing their minds. I've never had people like engage with a be real before. <laughs> people people like this one I guess. Uh, yeah, we're naming this one Missy. All right. <coughs> uh, 
Oh, it's it's just miss. Whoops. <laughs> it's Miss Missy. No way, Missy from Shuffle Thing, yeah. I should uh, heal Tyre. No. Rockruff, get in my ball. rocks <laughs> yeah I remember at the end of shovel Knight when um when they when they defeated the enchantress and uh and, uh, you know, they, they were fighting Remnant, and then they, at the end, they put her in a Pokeball. Oh, um, yeah. So, wait, I guess if, if Rock, if Rockruff was, um, <laughs> hitting me with falling rocks like Luan, then I guess this makes him down a bit. <laughs> Also hit with falling rocks. <laughs> Donovan Jr. here. <laughs> So whatever shall I do? I don't know. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Ryan? Oh, never mind. That's not his name at all. <laughs> I'm continuing my journey. No more stops. Hate the sound of that clapping, yeah. I had this thing over here. I can stop for things. You're right, it does. I don't want to fight you. <laughs> You're away from you're away from the bugs. You, you gotta you gotta go rejoin them. Yeah, I'll lead you. I'll lead you. Come on. There they are. There they are. <coughs> oh no, 
he's just, he's leaving. I'm alright. No. It was a trap, yeah. I like this angle. Getting the ball. Alright, what are we naming this thing? This freak. Just name it thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just wanted the sparkly thing. And now it's gone, you took it. I can't believe this. Fine, I'll get this thing over here. Alright, there's too many of you little things here. You guys need to relax with how little you are. On the road again. <laughs> Just can't wait to get on the road again. I find love is making music with my friends. And I can't wait to get on the road again. <laughs> on the road again. <coughs> Let me take this thing. Thank you. Wait, was that a picnicker over there? Did that totally go off faster? Yes, it was. She's gonna feel my guys. Enjoy picnicking. Thank you. Thank you. I would love that, yes. I can get multiple malicious armors if you want, I could just give it to you. I mean how 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 much is that going to kill the challenge for me? You know what I mean? Like, is it cause if it's like There's a balance that I want to strike it, because if it's one of those things where it's like, I'm not going to get around to doing that side thing until like, five streams from now, then I would kind of rather just do it now. Um, but if it's something that I could just do like, after this, then I'll just do it after this, you know? <laughs> You could not hit your ride. You can give me the armor and then you can decide when to use it. Hey, I remember that thing! Remember when we got a shiny of that on stream? Amazing! Blonde voice critical? <laughs> right, 
in a predicament. Solvable by seemingly only one Pokemon. And it's not Tyler. He's screaming fear already. He knows it's about to come now. Flicker Redemption Arc. Let's support that. I know we've had some rough times. But you, you seriously can't find this up. It'll be super embarrassing. Awesome! Look at her little body. She's so small. Yes! Hold on. <laughs> Trying to get like as close as possible without her phasing out. I think that's about as close as I can get. Whoa, guys. Hey, whoa, whoa, guys, whoa, yeah. <laughs> Crazy, whoa, wacky. Look at this. On the road again. <laughs> The flame on her back looks like one of those child leashes. <laughs> awesome. Gonna need one of those if you want to keep her from tearing Tyler in two. Although if it's flaming, I don't know how easy it'll be to uh, hold on to. I don't want to fight you, man. <laughs> but I will! <laughs> If I win, you've got to buy my CD. <laughs> okay, yeah. Meow! Meow, meow. No one buys CDs anymore, yeah. That too. Well, I thought you just meant like on iTunes, but even that's a little outdated. You met a uh, prospect. So that's sort of of the times. <laughs> CDs, nuts, or whatever. <laughs> Yo, Victoria, so from what I gather, it seems like the open sky titan lives somewhere up on this mountain. But there are all these crazy boulders raining down from the mountain, too! It's gonna be a little tricky to stand around and look for the Titan while dodging all those. I think you'll be some flying if you get hit by a... <laughs> Sorry, the idea that's really funny. <laughs> Maybe you can power your way through top that brood of yours. Listen, his name is Steve, and I would thank you kindly to <laughs> refer to him as such. I named him Steve Aoki. He's like, I'm pretty sure that's like already a guy. And I'm like, what, you can't do that? You can't name your pet after a guy? He's like, well, I mean, I guess you can, but like usually they, there's like what's a pun involved, or you're just you're naming him after just like a guy that exists. Enjoy picnicking. Let's fucking go. I got a, I got a variety of ingredients. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's go. Please. 
occupy this very good. Put it like up here. Oh, this. I've not used a single TM this whole time. Oh, there's the Baldus. There they are. How'd I miss this whole path? What's wrong with me? I love Mario 64. <laughs> Hold on, I kind of want to get on oh, it. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Where on earth are you? What do you mean? Sorry, my demons. <laughs> They're my demons too. I just, I can't, I need to maintain a, I need to maintain a cheery appearance on stream and I can't do that if you're gonna bring up heavy shit like that. <laughs> It's just about as heavy as the rock that crystal. <laughs> <coughs> 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 I'm alright. I'm alright, I'm all. <coughs> hey guys, did you know that it's September? Burn up! <laughs> That's disgusting. I'm gonna be honest, that's disgusting. Is Tyler our guy for this one? What do you guys think? Are we are we are we tylering it up here? Sure? Hold on. That seems like a very non-committal answer. Why not? Because why why would I when I could when I have someone who's cooler? Let's see here. I don't think I have anything that works. <laughs> Rock electric ice spray. <clears throat> they can use Jerry Terry. <clears throat> Dude, it's Jerry Terry's day. <clears throat> Jerry, it's your time. Today is your moment to shine, and I've given you the power to shine as bright as possible, because now you're made of glass. Do not fuck it up. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Here, you got a one-stop detective. <coughs> Jerry! <coughs> Jerry, please. like that was a critical hit. Okay. <laughs> Jerry, please! That's 
that's also fine. <laughs> How did it how did it do that? <laughs> oh. Ugh, is that it can't be. The good Kush. Again? Oh. <laughs> Kush <laughs> Victoria, you managed to get to the Titan somehow, huh? So that's the open sky titan. Wait, is this Titan is this Titan what's been dropping all those boulders? I was lucky enough to be able to did it put it in its little pouch and just like do whatever. I was lucky enough to be able to sneak up here because it had all its attention on you, little bud. Looks like it's trying to heal itself, power itself up, like with some kind of mystical meal power or something. So it better be ready to go all out. All right. Hold on, let me just uh, transition over here. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, it's Tyler again. Alright, sure, we'll just go with Tyler this time. <laughs> Gary Terry did his job. <laughs> Trying to draw rocks on folks is dangerous. Let's give this thing a good taste of defeat. So I'm like, yeah, okay, Tyler, it's your time to shine, and I'm gonna make a shiny first glass, and don't fucking ask me that. Yeah, okay, you know the deal. You got it, Tyler. Go for it. I'm gonna put it in the Discord so you guys can see. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. I'm like, when Rock Rare, I am, I sure am an expert in torment. I keep forgetting it, I, I just, I just remembered the torment. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it, huh? Die? That's what I thought. Idiot. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Whoa, that was a little human snore, Jesse. Yeah? She's so asleep right now. I gotta take another video. She's like worse than before. I feel like you could barely hear it in the video I sent. Kelly wants me to do a teleport, okay. What does teleport do? <coughs> Switches places with a... Uh, no. <laughs> oh shit, Kirby's evolving. What is Kirby evolving to? Oh, he's... 
not pink anymore. I don't know how to feel about this. Skip Loom. Okay, I guess we're excited about Skip Loom. There is a green Kirby. You're right. There is a green Kirby. Yes, way to go, Victoria. Please just call me Ricky. Looks like we don't have to worry about any more boulders falling on us now, huh? There has to be more Ladder of a Mystica at Aiden here. Let's hurry and find before the Titan can come back for another go at us. Alright, yeah. Whatever you say, buddy. Do you guys hear Jesse? Oh, let me turn him in the mic a little closer. No, it's it's showing up as like a tiny tiny amount on my mic. But I feel like if you turn your volume all the way up you could. Yeah, she's, she's having a little guy moment. Anyway. <clears throat> I knew it! Alright. It's weed! And this time it's green! Oh! She woke up suddenly. Hi! You okay? You were in a very deep sleep. What's up? You alright? You okay? One of her eyes is really open and the other one is like really small. <laughs> oh, you going back to sleep? I don't know. Alright. It really is here. This is one of the herbs. Make no mistake. The good gush! Woohoo, we did it! Thanks, Victoria. Yeah, no problem, man. <laughs> now then, let's see, what does the book have to say? Bitter Urban Mystic is great for your circulation. It really gets the blood flowing, and that warms you right up, nice and toasty, even boosting the immune system. Herb, so it says. If I can just slip this into a tasty sandwich and get him to eat some. Well, what are we waiting for, Victoria? It's time to dig in. Let me, let me whip up something for us. He's still too into it. <laughs> Watch out. And Bob's your uncle. Here you go, my special whimsical herb filled super sandwich. And it comes with a side of Titan Bat as a token of my gratitude, of course. <laughs> Arvin. Arvin, I like you. You're, you're a good one, Arvin. <laughs> Nope, someone's hungry. Oh, come on, you again? Yeah, he does this every meal time. Is it trying to say thanks or something? Well, good thing I made extra. <laughs> You're helping me out a whole bunch with the hard stuff, so it's only fair that you get more. Definitely, absolutely did not make sandwiches up here. I don't get to have a sandwich, okay? <laughs> Aww. Whoa. He can swim! 
Did it go stronger again? No, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Man, these Urban Mystic really do pack a punch, don't they? I mean, they better, or else I'm really up the creek. Don't you dare touch that! That isn't for you! Oh my god. Relax. I, I mean, I, um, uh, <laughs> sorry. I shouldn't have shouted like that. I guess I should at least tell you the full story, Victoria. Yeah, okay. Ooh. <laughs> sorry. That's a really silly looking dog. <coughs> This is Mava Stiff, my partner. Ugh. Here you go, bud. Eat up. This sandwich to help you feel better. Fuck pathetic sopping cats. We got pathetic sopping dogs. <laughs> Slowly now, take your time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Yesterday me and Paxton were watching TikToks together and we found one of those ones where they're like uh, nursing like a kitten they found on the street back to hell, you know? And Paxton was like, this is, I'm going to cry, this is too much. And like, I, I, I was laughing at the men, but like now I get it. <laughs> My buddy here was hurt pretty bad a while ago. Oh, oh my god! He never really recovered! <laughs> potions and things don't work. Nothing seems to help. No potions, no Pokemon centers, nothing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mapa <laughs> Stiff is the only thing in the world I care about. The only thing. So I promised that I'd make him better whatever it takes. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. I searched online, I read books, I looked all over and tried every cure and remedy I could find, but nothing really worked. I'd almost given up hope. That's when I found out about the Urban Mystica. Yeah, what is that book? I found it in my dad's lab. Area Zero was home to wondrous herbs that instantly impart vigor when eaten. We dubbed them Urban Mystica and attempted to grow some in areas around Paldea. However, before we could harvest, the herbs were eaten by Pokemon, which in turn grew large and strong. We call these Titan Pokemon. Aren't you scared that that's going to happen to your dog, though? It's this book full of crazy stories and legends and things. Stuff nobody would usually believe. But I believe it. I think what it says is true. And according to this book, eating all five Urban Mystica can cure anything that ails you. Case in point, well, well, I've been eating all of them. Okay, anyway. Case in point, Mavistoff's paws were cold as ice before he ate that last herb, but they've warmed up a little bit now. I'm sure they have. God, you know what would be the saddest possible outcome to this? If it really was all, like, in, like, if it really was all, like, stories, and him being like, no, it is working. I, I swear, like, it's just him, like, being in, in like, in his head about it. <coughs> Oh my god, that's the saddest dog I've ever seen. <laughs> no, please. Please. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is too much. Oh my god, this is too much. gonna bring Mavistiff back to full health, I swear. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, so that's my story. Three herbs to go. Let's find them together. Do you want to, like, get married, actually? Do you want to have a spring wedding? You are... You are so... You're so... I... I... I, I like him. <laughs> He's such a guy. Cliff with the big red dog. They can move across the water. Yeah. 
I can swim. Awesome. Good gosh. Alright, well, I don't think we have time to do, like, another full thing. But we probably have time to pick one and then decide from there. Or, or start off. Is, is this a good one to do next? This is a Team Star, which we haven't done yet. <laughs> this seems like a good first one, right? Yeah, alright, cool. Uh, set his destination. Alright, bye Arvin. Dios mio. <laughs> I just go down from here. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> if we just, yeah. <laughs> is that another flicker? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> That's awesome. I would probably heal my Pokemon, but whatever. Have I done enough trainers? Nine! Tra Jesus Christ! Alright. We are in Team Star territory soon. You, creature. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I died. Sorry. No, 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 no. He died. I'm sorry. I killed him. Gary Terry wants to learn Spark. Oh, that. I should buy more balls, actually. Let me do that first. Before I get too far from the place. You know, I'm starting to hate the having nice battles guy. I'm gonna be honest. Give me like, uh, like six. And give me, uh, yeah, six of those two. Yeah. What can we sell? None of these, all right? These are all I should probably hold on to. Um, yeah, these I can sell for sure. Okay, I've like basically made back more than what I spent. <laughs> Another one. 
He's just a guy. Really just a guy. Okay, don't do any more attacks. I don't know if those will hold them, but... Okay, cool. Definitely held it. What are we naming this silly little dude? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Nub. <laughs> Amazing. for that. <laughs> Swablu. I got a name for this one. <sighs> no, what? Oh, okay. it's gonna name Q-Tip. Whoops. Well, he's cute tip in our hearts. And that's really all that matters. Well. Cassiopeia here. See, so you're getting close to one of Team Star's bases. I take it this means you decided to join my operation? Yeah, sure. Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a second. What? Okay. Does this operation of Starfall of yours have one more have room for one more member? What who are you? I'm some guy. The name's Clive. I don't like you. <laughs> oh, and how long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of a mutual friend here, isn't that right, Victoria? Uh, I guess maybe. Ha <laughs> shy as ever, I see. I've literally never seen you before in my life. <laughs> we're not talking about going up against Team Star. We're talking about going up against- we're, We are talking about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you can join in for fun. I'm well aware. I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star. That's all. Besides, I can get the job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. Do not compare this guy to Sir Slickback. I will ban you for that. <laughs> I suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. Welcome to the Operation Clive. Great, that settles it then. I think I heard your name earlier, Cassiopeia, was it? Who exactly are you? Team Star and I share some history. That's all I'll say for now. I see, in that case I won't press you further. Alright, here's, here's my prediction. Uh, Clive is actually the headmaster guy. And, uh, Cassiopeia is just Penny. <laughs> Couldn't go back to business. Don't tell me if I'm right, by the way. <laughs> Let's talk Operation Starfall. What would you have us do? Simply put, I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases. Based on what grounds? Um, I mean, Clive looks like the headmaster guy. 
he kind of like well he he did the like putting his arms behind his back the same way thing too um and penny's the only other person that has a connection to to team star that we met the only other type of thing that i can that i can think of is that it's like someone that we're going to fight in team star that's like taking him down from the inside you know but i'm, I'm pretty sure it's penny um and when you raid each one of Team Star's bases, then you'll defeat the bosses of the team and put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? Give you, we need to oust these bosses from their rule somehow? Yes, and then we rule Team Star. And then disband them. That's right, Team Star is made up of five squads, and each of the squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gates of one of those bases now, in fact. <coughs> Sorry. Ah yes, I can see them over there. On the other side of this is the base proper. And somewhere within that base lies one of your targets, a squad boss. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they just so happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. The rain's really adding to this. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name written thanks. They're basically declarations of war, oh my god. <laughs> now all of Team Star knows that we're looking for a fight. So let's say we defeat all the bosses and they step down from their roles. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them, that's what happens. It's a solid plan but we're not, not without wrinkles. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders and the bases themselves are a considerable size. Your garden variety trainer would be overrun long before they get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation, Victoria. Defeat the Pokemon inside the base and drag the boss out from where they're hiding. Okay. <laughs> if you say so. She's like realizing that she's in way too deep. First things first, though. If you'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. <coughs> uh. Holding that one off for a while. <coughs> and what we'll be doing in the meantime. Like I said before, it's history with Team Star. That means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. <coughs> Alright, what will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely just yet. For now, I'd like you to monitor the bases and act as Victoria's support. You're a cautious one, alright? I respect that. I'll be in touch again when the plan advances to the next stage. Good hunting out there. <laughs> well, go get him, Victoria. Yeah, <laughs> Director Clumel. I have no idea what you mean, but if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> He's like, shit, shit, fuck, shit. Damn it, shit. Well, I guess this is, uh, I guess we'll be doing this, uh, first thing next week. Oh, whoops. I've put myself in a cutscene. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I was like, take your time. Uh, yeah, whoa, whoa, hold it, you. Up ahead's the base of operations for Team Star's Dark Crew. You may know us as the Sagan Squad. Okay. Yeah, but we don't take too kindly to random kids snurfing around our turf. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, amigo, we'll have to send you packing. Wait, hold up. Just going on a hunch here, but are you the Victoria kid? You know that piece of work we're out to get for declaring Team Floor and Team Star? Maybe I am. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Maybe I am, she says. Cool as a cucumber. Honestly, it's not always the best policy, you know. Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter who you are. You're not getting through. Buzz off or get thrashed by me in battle, kid. What will it be? Oh, get out of here. <laughs> Haven't I walked back then? Idiot. <laughs> That's awesome that you just leave. <laughs> so th th this will be the first thing we do next week. Um, I hope you all had a lovely stream. This week has been nice, um, despite me being sick for all of it, and I hope that that hasn't been an intrusion on your viewing experience. 
And if it has, my apologies. I literally can't help it. <laughs> uh, I'm glad that you guys seem to be enjoying Pokemon. Because I'm having fun with this, this game. And I like seeing you guys like have things to say about the things that I'm streaming. That makes me happy. Um, yeah. <laughs> good stream, guys. And good, good stream, guys. Go squirt some Gatorade in your mouth and hit, hit the lockers. <laughs> Um, Faction's not here, so I guess we're just gonna skip to my life advice. Um, buy, buy a stupid looking plushie. You know? I'm getting a lot of that this dude plush, and by that I mean I feel like I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night and see him and like forget that I had him and he's gonna scare me. Um, you should do that for yourself. I think that's a form of self care. Make an irresponsible purchase on something that will haunt you. Maybe don't do that, actually. Whatever. Good night. <laughs>